Brutal Legend means different things to different people. Some see it as the long-awaited next Tim Schafer game, the mastermind behind classic adventure games like Grim Fandango. Others see it as homage to classic heavy metal. Still others just know it as that Jack Black game. It is all of these things, and it is awesome. The game follows the adventures of Eddie Riggs, the greatest roadie of all time. Riggs must assemble an army to rid heavy metal heaven from the evil Lord Deviculus. Yes, it is as epic as it sounds. The writing is sharp throughout, but the humor does taper off a little as you progress. While the story is still a cut above most video games, it's a shame that the entire affair doesn't retain the same biting wit as its awesome opening. Oh man, don't tell me I've been slaying hot girls this whole time. You look f***ing terrible! Brutal Legend is a great package, especially if, at some point in your life, you've been a fan of heavy metal. There are a lot of cameos, in-jokes, and pot shots against the kind of watered-down heavy metal that you hear these days. Jack Black is fantastic as Eddie. You can tell that he really committed to his character and he's not just cashing a paycheck. Aha! I knew it! Big ugly demon. In fact, voice acting is really good all around. The character animation also matches the quality of the voice acting. It's expressive and lively. As you can see, the bizarre heavy metal theme carries over to the art style and graphics. Everything is given a cartoony look that works well considering the source material. Some of the creature designs are also pretty badass, but they do feel a little underused. It'd be nice to have some of these guys get more time in the limelight during the story, but you can play with them all you like in multiplayer. The gameplay is a mashup of a bunch of different styles. The main story missions almost play like a real-time strategy game. You command troops on a battleground made up to look like a giant rock concert. Your fans serve as your resources, and you spend them to summon units. However, this is not a straight RTS, because you can also dive into battle and beat up enemies with guitar and battle axe combos. One of my favorite moves is the face melter. It melts faces. Outside of the story battles, there are beat-em-up, shooting, and racing sections. This mix of styles may sound like it might be a disaster, but the pieces come together well. Each style keeps it simple, but that's actually a good thing in this case. There are a couple minor problems here and there. While it's cool to have multiple gameplay styles, I still would have liked more variety with the side quests. You basically keep doing the same three things over and over. Those three things may be fun, but it gets repetitive. Also, you can't jump. Yeah, Eddie has a lot of tricks up his sleeve, but jumping isn't one of them. For a game that focuses on exploration and combat, it feels weird to be limited like this. Finally, some mission objectives aren't explained that well. Sometimes there will be mission requirements like, don't let this guy escape, only the game doesn't tell you that, you learn by failing. This never killed the game for me, it's just a little annoying. In terms of replay value, there's also a very fun multiplayer mode that features the RTS battles for up to 8 players. Here you get to command some of the great monsters in the game. And for people who are obsessed with collecting things, there are a lot of collectibles and secrets. You'll be unlocking songs, concept art, new moves, and car upgrades for a good while. Ultimately, the problems are really minor compared to the overall experience. This game is fantastic from start to finish. A lot of time and effort was spent creating this world, and you'll have a blast exploring it. The writing, the gameplay, and the style all combine to be something fun and unique. This game comes highly recommended. For the full written review, head over to IGN.com.